others because, you know, ever since Rocky, he always seemed like a larger-than-life figure at the Mandalorian. He was a great part of the team. So I just like a little, yeah, what, did you, what was it like working with him? He's an icon and a hero. The first day that I came to set, I saw Carl Weathers on the, on the door next to my dressing room, and I thought, oh, my God, like, it's, it's insane. I have so many moments like that are just were daunting on the show. Where I, there's, that people are like, what's the best part? It's like little things like that are the best. Like, I mean, there's all these things all over there. There's miracles that are sprinkled all over, along that show. And uh, I think a lot of that is John Trapper who sets up a team in a crazy way and demands a, a certain kind of behavior just by the way he behaves which is kindness, and let's go towards the goal of this. And Carl was like that. Um, to be on set with him uh, in, in the shootout scene in the street was, was phenomenal. Yeah. Just, I mean, to walk on, just for the rehearsals, I was like, yeah, and that, so that was the thing. He's the guy, I don't get starstruck. I have iced tea, I got starstruck when I saw iced tea in real life. And, uh, I was sitting next to Cindy Crawford, didn't care about, like, cool, she's a cool lady. But we're at EOC fights, and then I see iced tea in the back, oh, my God. Like, and, and Carl Weathers is like that. He's an icon. And, um, and a privilege. And, and we got to spend some time with him at just a, a month or two months before he passed. And, and it just seems unreal. And when I say it seems unreal, it, I, I think that I'll leave you with this, is that Carl is with us. He still colors me. And, and I think that somebody like that is immortal. And in that way, that uh, um, we, we carry him forward and, and, and the memories and the lessons. And, and he's a guy that um, has changed history. And it's remarkable at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is why, for me, I think the most, I mean, he made an impact on me in so many ways. And part of it was because he did, you know, I, I knew of him in these enormous larger-than-life roles. And, and his personality was so... He was so vivacious and so full of life, even you know the last time we saw him. And so what was most remarkable to me, I think, is the way he still carried himself as a student and as somebody who was always learning and always curious and so interested in people. And I'm so grateful for the time that we had together at conventions because that's where I really got downtime to just sit and talk with him and I got to witness the way that he interacted with other people and how supportive he was of people's work and how supportive he was of each of our individual endeavors. Um, he came to see me in a, a play that I did in Los Angeles and we had these great conversations about theater and he was just, you know, he's done these remarkable things and some people would rest on their laurels and he never did that. He still had so much more that he wanted to learn and to share and to, to just be a part of. He was such a tremendous spirit that way. Yeah. Um, you Carl, Carl was a hero, obviously, before I ever walked on the set. You know, he was Apollo. Uh, we joked after about an hour of me quietly talking to him behind the helmet. You talk about, you know, could you hear it? Um, I was so starstruck. And I've sat on, you know, who I consider Uncle Ronnie, you know, and to, I was sitting on the president's lap. Like, I don't get very impressed. Um, but he was one of those guys that just, it overwhelmed me. And uh, to have him across from me, I, I was starstruck. And, I think, and finally he said, can you speak up and, uh -huh. and, and just say the line so I can hear it? And I was like, I'm sorry, man. I, am, I don't get starstruck. I'm blah, blah, blah. He took it, and from that, that moment on, anything that, and then we're talking like the first two weeks of shooting, anything that you like about Mando, anything that you see on that screen in that first season especially, you can, you can literally look up and thank Carl, because without him, I don't pull any of it off. He gave me the courage and the strength and the path to be the best I could, because he believed in me. And it was like, you don't ever want to meet your heroes. You don't, because they can never live up to it. But Carl was, he lived beyond it. He was, he raised the bar for what I thought a hero should be. And he never stopped. So, uh, yeah, it was everything and then some to have Carl in your life. Well, all right, thank you. You lived up to our expectations even more, so thank you for coming. Thank you.